Okay, it's taken about two hours of trial and error, and I finally have come up with something that I like. Now this is for this knife and the next three that I'm gonna make. So I went ahead, so I don't have to go through this again and made a pattern. And uh, that way I will stop wasting leather. God, I can't believe what a waste I've done for the second time. Uh, okay, let me, uh, now I've got a real good start on this. I'm gonna cut these out and uh, get to work on these. I will have this made today. And this afternoon, uh, I sold the mini skinner. This is sold too, uh, but this sheath won't be dry and ready till tomorrow. I mean, I'll finish it today, but I like to give it a day to uh, dry. I put it in my house and put a fan on it and dry it out so I can leave the knife in it without it without worrying about it getting rusty. Okay, let me get back to work here. Uh, had another person join the uh, Southern Cruisers, my, my chapter. So that is six people. And uh, it's a guy that rode with us the other day, so he must, must have enjoyed his ride and decided to join. Uh, here's what I got. I got some red dye. I think this is going to look nice. This is just a scrap piece, but it's the same leather that I cut all this out of, so it'll look like this. So, uh, here, let me lay this right here. That way we get a better idea what this will end up looking like. And then, you know, that, that will actually be this piece. We'll go over that, but I'll dye it all red and then I'll do a black or a dark chocolate which looks like black but not quite black I'll do a fade all the way around the edge and before uh I kind of I kind of like that that really that goes really really close I think the lady that's buying this I think she'll like this and if not it's not too hard to make another one now that I finally have a pattern that I'm happy with so first, I'm going to do a little tooling on this before I sew this and glue it together because I won't be able to do it because uh, this goes under it. This is the webbing. This is the thing that keeps the knife from cutting the threads. So where I'll be, I'll be sewing right here and I'll be tooling from this line back. And uh, that thing, you know, that will be up off the ground so it won't take the stamp so I got to do this uh, before I glue it together and then I'm going to dye everything glue it together let it set you no know, about an hour go home and tell my wife the good news that we got another member uh drink a coke actually drink water I don't even have a coke and uh that time this will be ready to uh sew and then I'll do my fade and then I got to figure out, here's, here's my plan. I've got, I'm going to put a, uh, hold on, let me turn you off. Okay, I'm going to put a snap where it will snap around and hold the knife. So, uh, not that big, but I just cut it big because I want to get this built and get the knife in it and then see how long I need to make my snap. And I doubt it's gonna be that wide. I'm probably gonna knock about a quarter inch off of that. And, uh, but that's where I'm at so far. And you know, if I don't get this done in a day, I, I'm not gonna rush it, but I've made a lot of progress. I mean, getting the pattern cut, getting the basic shape that I'm happy with cut out once and for all, and my next, the new knives, the Texas 45s that are a, a inch and an eighth longer, I will just extend this down or basically move this up and make the top. Everything will go up a little bit. So these, you know, this is the belt loop and I rounded the edges and I will uh, smooth the edges before I, before I'm done. I rounded the edges on the back. So. All right, let me get some work done. We'll be back. Well, so much for trying not to look like I just committed a murder. All right, I'll let that dry. I got it glued together. That's gonna look nice with a fade. And I did a little 
fancy schmancy tooling on this here. It's going to go this way, but it's going to fold over or, you know, it'll be seen. And uh, as soon as I know how long I got to make it, I'll, I'll uh, finish the ends. I think I'm going to do a black fade on the outer edges of this too, but I got to get this. I'm going to do a black fade when I do the black fade on this. I'm not going to connect this right away. Uh, and basically I'm going to put a, a rivet right here through the center. And uh, this will go through where your belt would go. Alrighty, let me uh, give this another hour or so to dry, then I'll start sewing it. Let me just say that uh, my next knife is sold, but uh, I will have two more that are not sold yet. So if you'd like to get on the list for one, uh, let me know. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go clean these edges up. All right, you ready? I have to put the edge on this now and uh, I'm going to let this dry for a couple of days and I have another one I think I've already said that in a previous clip uh, I have another one sold that uh, uh, Patrick is his name Z Patrick Z uh, I don't know what his YouTube secret YouTube code name is but anyway uh, this is exactly what I was hoping it would look like just enough red to Know that it's red, but not so much that someone will say, Red? What'd you make it red for? Okay. Uh, I'm done for today. I'm going to bring the sheath home. I'll leave the knife here tomorrow. I got uh, some minor scratches on the brass. I'm going to buff out. I'm going to put the edge on the knife and then give it my last buff. And I'm going to let this. I have really had to do some. I had to wet this pretty good. So uh, I'm going to let it dry for a couple of days and uh, maybe Saturday if uh, Miss uh, French, what? good Lord, I can't believe I don't remember the last name. Lee, I think her name is Lee or Leah. And uh, I might, she lives near me. So my wife and I might drive down that way and bring it to her uh, Saturday or Sunday, maybe on our motorcycles. There's a, a body shop not far from where she lives. We can just meet her in that parking lot. Anyway, yeah, I'm real happy with that. And this, this is what the sheaths will look like from now on. Okay, I do have to order some more parts. I had just enough to do this. Actually, I screwed one up and thank God I had one left because that was, that was it. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, these dogs are mistreated.